Hi again, everyone, and welcome back for week six of Accessible Learning with Technology. In the past few weeks, we've taken a look at why accessibility is important and what some of the legislative requirements are and some of the international guidelines are for meeting basic accessibility standards. And uh, this week, we're going to take a look at some more practical tips and strategies and resources that you can use to actually make sure that anything you're creating and sharing with your students or for any purpose actually meets some of those basic accessibility standards. So if you look at our readings for this week here in Canvas, our readings and resources, Again, I have a variety of different types of resources in here for you. I start off with a cheat sheet, a digital accessibility cheat sheet that I developed a couple of years ago at the request of one of my colleagues from Cape Breton University who wanted uh, something that she could share with her students or with any other instructors from the faculty who uh, were building their own courses during the, the pandemic when we were all shifted to teaching everything online. So I have that here for you. Uh, there's an embedded image of it, but you can also download a fully accessible PDF version of that. Again, I have a number of short reads for you. Uh, a lot of these are resources that I've developed and curated over the past few years with some tips and tricks and tools that you can use. Uh, for working on anything from documents and, and web-based content pages or learning management system pages to working with color and images and working with video. I've got some longer reads for you here as well too. And uh, again, some videos for you. They're a little bit longer, but they're well worth checking out. Uh, I've got uh, uh, recordings of a couple of webinars that I did with a colleague of mine, Sandra Jack Malik, who is one of Canada's uh, foremost academics in terms of language-based learning disabilities and dyslexia. While these resources do focus on dyslexia, assistive technology and tools and strategies for working with dyslexia, a lot of them will work for students with a lot of accessibility issues. So they're just a start. This is not a comprehensive list of all the tools and resources and tips and strategies that are out there for you. But we're gonna be taking a deeper dive into those during weeks nine to 11, when your groups give your presentations on tools and strategies and resources for uh, meeting accessibility standards and removing barriers to accessibility. If we take another look at uh, the modules area here for week six, you'll notice that uh, right now these are hidden from view. During our live class session for uh, the breakout activity that I have planned, I'm going to make these visible for you. They're basically copies of my resources page for this week, and I'm going to get you to take a look at them. See if you can figure out what's wrong with them accessibility wise and see if you and your groups can actually fix them up and then walk us through and talk us through what you found and what you fixed. Uh, next week, week seven is gonna be reading week. Uh, so there's not gonna be any new readings or resources for you, a chance for you to get caught up on everything that uh, we've had throughout the term. I know that I've thrown a lot of resources at you uh, in weeks one to six. A lot of them were optional. Maybe you wanna go back and check some of them out. But don't forget, at the end of reading week, the end of week seven, assignment two is due. That's your draft ebook chapter for our open access class ebook project. 